Hey guys, what's up? It's Natasha. Welcome back to another video on my channel, Lucy Poo. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a workout video. We're continuing this Instagram series that I have going on on my channel where I take videos from supermodel Elsa Hub Instagram story and fitness expert Megan Roos Instagram story and put that into a full length video for you guys to follow along with. This video in particular is a really, really good one. And I say that because, girl, I did this workout. I filmed it on two different days because it just took me a little while to do. I did the left side first one day, and then the next day I did the right side. So if you want to split it up like that, you can do that too, whatever you want to do. Or you could just do both of them all in one day, which is what I wanted to do, but I just didn't have time. So this workout is going to work your body, girl. It is going to make you feel tight in all of the good ways that sounded a little weird when i said it like that this is gonna get you feeling tight and i mean that in like like your muscles are gonna feel tight because you're sore but also you're like your body's gonna feel tight because you snatched you know what i mean so i did this workout like two days ago and one day ago and 24 hours after doing each workout i got some doms i got some delayed onset muscle soreness if you know what i'm talking about i feel this in my entire body honey i don't just feel it i know this is a booty like this is like a booty targeted workout and it's like an outer thigh targeted workout but i feel this or work like i can work my lower back or like that lower back area right before your booty starts you're like also working that area at the same time while you're just solely targeting specifically supposed to be solely targeting the booty muscle but you're also working all these other muscles at the same time so this little lower back area you won't be feeling it right in here getting this nice and tight while also still working your booty also uh for the majority of this video the workout is performed like on all fours so like your hands you're using your arms you're using your core you're using all your muscles this is this is seriously a full body workout even though it's most it's targeted as being for your booty and like your outer thighs but really it's all over honey. you're gonna feel it everywhere and if you don't feel it everywhere i mean you're just you're just really fit so that's good on you but anyway i'm definitely gonna be doing this workout again like i'm gonna be watching my own video and doing this workout again because it is good it is just a good workout for all over getting your body feeling right in your body looking right you're gonna feel like you've worked your muscles you're gonna feel like you worked that body and there's some fun moves involved with this workout too and so without any further delay we're getting right into this workout as i said before i'm going to be doing everything on one side first and then i'll be showing you guys everything on the other side after that so we're gonna do each move for 30 seconds and get ready to work. And now we are switching moves. I actually didn't have a timer when I was performing these exercises. So I actually ended up doing these exercises for about a minute to a minute and a half each so if you do this through once and you feel like it's not enough for you i would recommend doing it through twice or three times and then you'll end up going about the same amount that i actually did when i did this workout Switching moves once again, we're going to be focusing a little more on a pulsing movement before switching to a greater range of motion with our next movement. And here is that next movement with a greater range of motion.
now you've reached the point where you can see that this workout does have a little bit of a pattern to it. I'm not the biggest fan of workouts that are too repetitive, but I do like the way that this one is set up. The way that I moved my leg to get into this position might have looked a little confusing, but I'm sure you guys can catch on to how it's supposed to be done. For some reason, and I'm not sure why, this is the order that Elsa Hosk and Megan Rue performed this exercise in. They kind of like reversed a couple of the moves because before we did the pulsing move first and then the greater range of motion, but now we're doing the greater range of motion first and then we're going to end up doing the pulsing motion, but I mean, it all ends up the same in the end, you know? So if that really bothers you so much, I'm, I'm sorry, but... It'll be okay, it all works out in the end. Alright, so this move that we're doing right here is the fun move, the one that I consider the most fun. It's a move that I've never seen, you know, in a fitness exercise before, and I, I was really excited to give it a try. You might just have to, like, you know, observe me doing it at first to get the hang of it. I definitely had to watch them do it a couple of times. They did it a lot smoother than I'm doing it right now. Um, it's a really fun move, though, and um, it's a, it's a works your balance as well. And now we are moving right along into our next move. It was kind of slippery for me with just my socks on the mat, but it was better than wearing my tennis shoes because most tennis shoes don't exactly fit my feet. But anyways, we're getting off topic. Um, this is also a really fun move. It's very dynamic and incorporates a lot of muscles at once. Sorry if I got your hopes up by sitting for a second, but we are not done. Now we're going to focus on our outer thighs. Switching to a classic outer thigh move, straight up and down.
And now we are moving our leg into a rainbow shape or a shooting star, whatever you want to imagine or envision. Now for this move, it is like the opposite of what we have just done. Basically, you can consider it an inverted rainbow or inverted shooting star of the one that we just did. Alright, I know this seems like it's going to repeat the whole thing over again, but I'm going to let you guys know this is the last move, okay? So give it your all, you're almost done with this side. Congratulations, one side down, one more to go. And we are jumping right into it. Now this is the exact same thing that we did on the, well, the which side, the left side, uh, but now we're doing it on the right side. So it's gonna be the same exact workout repeated over again, but on the right. Now we are switching moves. Now that we've done everything on one side, I think you guys will probably have a better idea of what's coming up next on this side and the moves are gonna look a lot more recognizable. And now we're switching back to that pulsing motion. This is one of those movements where I can really feel it in my lower back area and not only targeting just my gluteal muscles, but also kind of hitting that lower back a little bit. All right, and now for that greater range of motion. Now returning to repeat those three moves, we're starting out with the donkey kicks.
switchy moves once again. You guys know what's happening. We are now targeting a different area of the gluteals and also those obliques. Here we go with those full range of motion back kicks. And now returning to the most creative and demanding move in this entire workout. You can see that my body is really feeling it at this point from having worked out a day before and then doing this workout again today. But it's a good move. It's really fun. Let's get this. into this dynamic version of a downward dog do your very best to try to get your leg up there in the air when you get to the top Alright, we have finally finished that booty targeted portion and we are going to get into focusing on our outer thigh. So the process is the same as before, we are hitting that classic move once again going straight up and down. So in a similar manner to what we've seen previously, there is a little bit of variation as to the order in which these exercises are performed, but don't worry, we do perform all of the exercises. So right now we're, gonna, we're at the inverted rainbow. We are going to do the rainbow version. It will come, it's actually the last move that we perform. So right now we're doing that inverted rainbow. And now we are returning to the kicking motion that began this outer thigh section.
And now to finish it off, like I said, this last move is going to be the rainbow or shooting star move. And congratulations to everyone you have made it to the end of this workout the last thing we're gonna do is stretch especially stretching that booty out because we definitely need it And now we're going to switch sides and stretch that other cheek. Now I'm going into a butterfly hold. We're going to stretch those inner thighs for just a little bit. You can sway from side to side however much you like or push down on your thighs to give yourself a further stretch. now we're moving into another sitting stretch so for this one we're still stretching out that booty um, and you put one leg on top of the other one kind of like in a crisscross applesauce like manner but instead one leg is literally on top of the other and then you're just gonna kind of push down a little bit on that top leg try to get it to touch that foot as close as possible in order to stretch out that booty And of course we have to switch sides and stretch the other side as well. Now I'm just going into a little bit of a forward stretch, side stretch, side stretch, just doing a little bit of extra stretches here. Now I'm working my way into a forward stretch. I'm kind of going to 
lift my feet up off the ground and like kind of point my toes, kind of further the stretch and then sink back down into it. And last, I'm just going to slowly work my way up to the top, fully extend. And we are done. I'm out of love.